Are you a yo-yo entrepreneur? I'm gonna share with you one of the top performance hacks that I've utilized over the last 14 years to create consistent results when most other entrepreneurs are on a high, then in a drift and back and forth their entire career. My name is Skyler Lewis, and this is the Christian Business Mentorship Podcast. And we're gonna talk about the high performance morning routine and what components are a part of that. Uh, there's a lot of gurus out there right now that are talking about uh, you don't need a consistent morning routine, right? Kind of just wake up, do whatever you want to do, jump in emails. Yes, you can produce results if you wake up and focus and work 12 hours a day. However, you will start to realize that your cup needs to be filled up also. And you can fill your cup up at night, right before you go to bed, or you can, you can fill your cup up in the morning and have your cup filled and energized the entire day. And I've found that this method of a consistent morning routine, a morning ritual, something that you do on a regular basis is the net that catches you when life gets hard. If you have this structured morning routine, it allows you to be the, it, it's, it's the net that catches you from crashing and burning it all to the ground, right? Having a consistent morning routine. And so this allows you to create consistent results. And that's the key word, consistent results, right? What's allowed me to create the success in my life is I've been consistent and I've found so many men after working with thousands of men, there are so many men that lack consistency in their performance, right? They might work out for a couple months and kill it, then they fall off. They might eat no sugar and healthy for a couple months, then they fall off. So building this one habit allows you to shift your identity of who you believe you are. And from our identity drives our behaviors, right? From our identity, all of our behaviors stem. And so if you could have the identity that you are consistent, it's one of the best identities that you can build. And we're going to talk about how to build that effectively. And that is through a consistent morning ritual at which top performers utilize. I've interviewed a ton of people. I've met a ton of entrepreneurs. And what I found is they truly do have this in common. So let's go to step number one. What are the key components of an effective morning routine? Step number one is waking up consistently. Right, this is critical. I've met, uh, 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 well, I personally struggled waking up consistently. I'd wake up at five, then I'd wake up at six, then I'd wake up some days at 6.30. And what happens is, is if I had a morning routine planned out, if I woke up late, I'd have to cut it short. And if I ended up cutting it short, it, I would feel like an L, I would get an L, I'd get a loss, right? And so what I had to do was learn to wake up at the same time every day. And so some months, some quarters, some years, I shift, right? Right now I'm waking up at 5 a.m. on average. For years, I woke up at 4 a.m., right? And so whatever you decide to do, like if you're going to decide at night to wake up at 5 a.m., then wake up at 5 a.m. Do not press the snooze button. The snooze button is the enemy. What the snooze button does is it causes you to break your word to yourself, if you commit to waking up and you say, hey, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. and then you wake up at 5.30, you've now just broken your word to yourself. So another way around that is go take a nap in the middle of the day. Of the day. Like find a way to do something else to re-energize, but commit to the time that you decided to wake up. If you decide to wake up at six, just wake, wake up at six. Uh, whatever, like learning to keep your word to yourself is crucial. So wake up consistently and choose that time. Maybe for some quarters, it might be different, right? Maybe for six months, you're doing 5 a.m. and you realize you need a little bit more sleep the next half of the year. So you do 5.30 a.m. But just choose a time and stick with it. Number two is Bible reading, right? As Christian entrepreneurs, as men or women of faith, if we say God is truly number one in our lives, we should start out our day with dedicating time to God. I used to have exercise as my number one. I used to do goal reading as my number one. And then eventually I started to realize and I even felt convicted. If I say that God is truly number one in my life, why am I doing all of these other things first? Cause I might get a really great workout in. It might take longer than expected. And then I would put, I would, I would push Bible reading off till the next day. 
when in reality, reading scripture, praying, meditating, spending time with God is the most important thing a Christian entrepreneur can do. And so I want to challenge you to start off your day with a Bible reading. Yeah, you might be tired. You might need to drink a little bit more coffee, whatever you need, but start off the day with the Bible. Number three is prayer and journaling. So once I read the Bible, and this is my specific routine, and these are in no particular order except the Bible and the time I spend with God. But the other things flip and flop around depending on what's going on in my life. Uh, this is my specific routine. So I'll read the Bible, I'll grab coffee, I'll read the Bible, and then I'll pray, and then I'll journal. So I'll pray to God, and I'll pray, and I'll say, Lord, what are you telling me today? Like, what are you telling me through the scripture that I just read? Uh, what do I need to learn? What lessons do I need to learn? And then I'll journal. I'll journal on either what God's telling me or I'll journal on what uh, whatever's going on inside me or my heart, right? So that my, I might be feeling some frustration or I might be experiencing some insecurity. And so I will journal through that and I clear, right? It's a process of clearing. The way the brain works is, it's an open loop system. And so what happens is if there's an open loop, your brain will continue uh, playing the thought over and over and over again. So if you're frustrated at somebody at work or your wife or if something's not going right and it's not solved, your brain will continuously listen, uh, replay that thought until it solves it. So it's very difficult, though, to solve all of your problems in your head. I found the most effective way is through journaling. So I will process and I will journal and I will come up with a solution at least on paper so my brain thinks it's solved and it will be able to move on. That's how, one of the ways I've been able to live in a, a almost complete peace even when there's chaos around me as I'm processing through all of, the th all of these things and closing the loop in my head. The next one is gratitude. I'm a huge uh, fan of gratitude. My uh, son was very entitled when he was five years old. He always saw Amazon box, uh, Amazon boxes showing up at the house. And so me and my wife, we were like, you know what? We need to figure out what to do to get this guy the, to live in a more of a state of gratitude. And so we eventually started building out gratitude prompts. We then built out an entire gratitude journal that's on Amazon. And it complete within two years, it shifted his entire being. He showed up as a child that lived with gratitude. And so gratitude, something I've been practicing for probably over 12 years and daily, I write three things that I'm grateful for and I do everything I can to actually experience the gratitude. So if you're dealing with anxiety in your life, uh, if you're dealing with entitlement, uh, anger, frustration, uh, you can't experience those same emotions and also be grateful. So you can retrain your brain to operate from a place of gratitude by practicing looking at the world and all of the things that you're grateful for, even some of the challenges that you're experiencing. If we go back to Romans 8, 28, God says he works out all for the good of those that love him who have been called according to his purpose. So you can trust that even in the trials and the struggles, there's a benefit. You can trust in that. So you can, you can pray hey, and, 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 and thank God. Thank you for the challenges, Lord. I know that it will develop perseverance in me. I know there's some blessing on the other side of this. The next one is exercise, right? Exercise. It is one of the most powerful things a human being can do is to physically move their body, is to sweat. Think about the benefits that come from working out, right? You feel physically more confident. Uh, you have more energy. Your cardiovascular system improves. Uh, your testosterone many times can increase. Your sexual drive can increase. Your uh, the 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 benefits you get health wise from from exercising and even eating healthy. So I, I combine exercise. Typically, when I exercise, I I want to eat healthier because I'm exercising. If you look up online, there's probably, I've done research about 30 different things that will benefit you from exercise. So I recommend doing this daily, every single day exercising. Uh, so I exercise about five to six times a week. At the weekends, I sometimes take off, but most of the time I'm exercising Saturday and then I'm doing some kind of fun activity on Sunday. Maybe it's playing pickleball, going golfing, do, moving around in some way. So I highly recommend exercising and something around exercising I recommend is doing it in the morning. A lot of people will exercise in the afternoon 
And what I've found is, or as logically, if you get all of those benefits, you're fired up, you feel more confident, why would you wait until the end of the day to experience those feelings? Right. So I want, I want to walk away with all of that energy, enthusiasm, confidence. I want that in the beginning of the day. So I show up with more power. And so what I've done is I put that in the morning so I can do that versus at night. And I get it. You may have to move your schedule around. Uh, that's what I had to do. I had to wake up earlier just to fit my exercise in. So I highly recommend doing it in the morning if you can. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm the founder of Rise Up King, the largest faith-based personal development organization in the country. And it's our mission to reach as many people as possible to help them live lives of excellence, all to glorify God. We do this through our content that you're watching now. We do this through our seminars. So if you're enjoying this, please subscribe and share. Let's get back to the video. The next one is a review of goals, your calendar and your priorities. So the way the brain works is it forgets everything from the past each day. So what you're focused on, your subconscious brain, it literally forgets what it's supposed to be focused on. So what I wanna do is I wanna train my brain what to focus on. So I wanna look at my goals. I wanna look at my priorities for the week. I wanna plan out my week to be most effective. As an entrepreneur and with many of the guys that I work with, I found that they're not always effective at planning and being strategic, which is a part of planning. Uh, and so what I've done is I've made it a, a daily ritual to look at my calendar and to plan out my day and to plan out my week on Monday or Sunday night. So I'm planning out my entire week and my priorities versus allowing uh, versus me being reactive to whatever comes at me during the week. So I highly recommend being more proactive, being intentional with the priorities and looking at your calendar every single day and also your future goals, uh, which you are obviously probably doing everything for to reach these specific goals. So a, a review of your goals, your calendar, your priorities, critically important. And then relationship investment. All right, if we look at the four pillars, which is something that we teach at Rise Up Kings, it's faith family, fitness, and finances, right? So we have finances, goal planning in here. We have faith. Uh, we have your fitness component. Now, what, what, what are you doing to invest in your relationship? So whether that be your marriage, right? Investing in your spouse or investing with your kids. So for me, my wife's cup, it depletes almost every single day. Literally, I, I could reinvest. I could invest well, right? Today, I played pickleball with my wife this morning and filled her cup up. She even texted me and said, thank you so much for that. And by the end of the day, she's gonna miss me and her cup will be drained again. So it's a daily investment into your marriage. Critical, especially for men. What are you doing? Is it a love note? Is it, a, uh, is it going and spending you know, 15 minutes and just connecting on the couch? Is it creating some sexual intimacy in the morning? Like what can you do in the morning to fill your wife's cup up versus at the end of the night? Right. So if you're going to fill her cup up, you could do it at the end of the night or you could do it in the morning. So she has her cup full the entire day. So some type of relationship investment. So if you have kids, you got to do both. Right. So it's investing in your marriage and it's investing uh, with your kids. So maybe it's playing Legos for five minutes. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, eating breakfast with them in the morning and connecting with them. So something to be intentional with those that you say you care about. And so this is my specific morning routine. I fit a couple other things in there, sometimes sauna, ice bath, miscellaneous things, but this is my core routine that I make sure I stick with. And I've been doing this uh, for about 14 years. I used to have a lot more things on this list. I had almost uh, th over, over 30 things that I had on a list that I was doing before 10 a.m., way too many things. Simplify your morning routine, create some consistency around it because where, where does your identity come from? And I'll do a whole training on identity. It's something that I'm very passionate about, but one of the aspects, one of the things that, that determines your identity is your behaviors and your habits, the things you do on a regular basis. So by doing this specific morning routine, what's happening is I'm creating in internally the identity that I am consistent, right? 
And so if I believe I'm consistent, I'm going to show up consistent in my business. I'm going to be consistent in business development. I'm going to be consistent in, in working with my team and leading them well. Like I'm going to create consistency in every area of my life if I believe I'm consistent. So this is a powerful routine to create some consistency, but also to have you show up with more power. Imagine doing this every single day. The level of power, the level of confidence, the wins that you would show up to the office with versus waking up uh, at 7 a.m., right? Rushing through the day, rushing through your morning and then, and then rushing out the door and showing up to the office. The level of wins and power that shows up when you complete a routine like this are huge. And this routine typically takes me about an hour and a half, somewhere in that range. So you're gonna need to dedicate maybe an hour right to a, a fantastic morning routine sometime maybe an even hour and a half right so if you're going to do a longer workout so that is my morning routine that is uh and, and again you can shift these you can move them around whatever you do i want to challenge you though if you don't have a morning routine right create one and be consistent with it start tracking your morning routine maybe even get a couple buddies to do a very similar morning routine where there can be some level of accountability and so if you're hearing this or watching this on YouTube, definitely what I would love is I'd love for you to comment or message me your specific morning routine. Uh, feel free to comment on it on the YouTube channel. And I would love to, to learn what are you doing, what's working well for you, or where are you struggling with your routine? If you send me a couple snapshots of, of, of you doing your morning routine, right, a little video of that, I'll post it on our reel. Or if you tag me on it, we'll repost it. Let's continue to be excellent in the way that we show up so that by the way that we live, we glorify God.